The Halloween fans are ready to rejoice in the streets because we're getting ready for, yeah, no, not Season of the Witch. I'm talking about the Halloween TV series. We got to talk about this. Let's go. Guys, we've got some new information from Bloody Discussing concerning the Halloween TV series from Miramax. And it looks like we've got some new clues and details to talk about. You guys are going to love this. But don't forget to hit the like button. It helps to support the channel. And I appreciate it. And join the Nightwatch Zone. Subscribe. Be a part of this fantastic community where you'll never love and talk about movies the same. Okay, so I'm bloody disgusting. They say Halloween, the Miramax TV series, will be a creative reset for the franchise. We learned this past October that Miramax landed the TV rights to the Halloween franchise, joining forces with Malik Akkad's Trancus International Films to bring Michael Myers to the small screen. Miramax will be developing and co-producing the Halloween saga's first ever TV series. And Miramax head Mark Helwig provides an update to deadline this week. I can't tell you guys how long I've been waiting for some information and details about what they're going to do with the series. Is it going to be something that's kind of like an offshoot from the movies? Is it going to be connected to the movies? Is it going to be connected to a certain timeline in the franchise? Because we know there's multiple franchise timelines in Halloween. You've got at least five or six different timelines. You probably could come up with a couple more if you really pick and choose some of these films. But it's really been up in the air. We've been trying to figure out, we've been theorizing, we've been talking on live streams and videos. And by the way, check out my playlist for Halloween for many interesting videos on it. But what we can expect from the Halloween TV series, for starters, don't expect any kind of continuation to the storyline from David Gordon Green's Halloween trilogy. Now, this is a quote from Hellwig. He says, the foundation of it is the original film the John Carpenter movie, the characters of that film, and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions, or even in a number of them. Now, that quote right there, let's take a second to pause on that. That quote right there is really interesting to me, because first of all, we find out two things in it. One, as we have theorized, we're gonna shoot off of Halloween 78, which makes sense. That's where it all started. That's where we learned about Michael. He killed Judith when he was a kid. Okay, so that totally makes sense. That's number one. Not a big surprise. But the second part that is very important to me is when he says a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions or even in a number of them. Now that makes me wonder who are these other characters? I mean, that could open up a whole new world of possibilities when you're talking about Halloween. So many characters throughout this franchise that a lot of us as fans have wanted to see more of or maybe wanted to know more of what they would do in these scenarios or different variations of what they would make for choices. So this is really, really cool. And I'll be talking more about that in upcoming videos. He goes on to say, it's a creative reset completely and going back to the original film as opposed to spinning out of any of the more recent film adaptations. This is just, this is really, really cool. It, it just bas it basically takes us back. I've talked about this in videos, what I think the, the, the future of Halloween should be and how we should go off of 78 and actually have a brand new you know, take on it, new characters. You know, we could still start from 78 and maybe even follow some of the side characters or, or so forth, but we need new characters from here on out. That is, to me, the best way to do it. And it looks as though this, this TV show, this TV series is gonna go in that direction. Hellwig also notes, we're on a fast track. It's a big priority for us. We've had lots of exciting conversations in recent months with a number of really talented people. And I think we'll have a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing very soon. We're hoping to lock down the creative team very soon. I think we're really starting to see uh, everything thaw from you know the, the writer strike and so forth and the actor strike. So I'm really, really excited guys, but what will they do? That's, that's what I'm so curious about. And like I said, I think 
the smartest way is what it looks like they're going to be doing going with new characters new storylines new situations for michael myers to be a part of and that totally opens up all the possibilities i know there are some folks that are like okay we've had enough michael with this trilogy and they're just thinking they want him gone you know like loomis was in halloween 5 you know die 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 michael die well he's not dead yet he is not dead yet, and that's really good news, and I think it's great news for horror in general, and obviously for us that are fans of the Halloween franchise and Michael Myers. The article finishes by saying, as a reminder, Miramax co-owns the Halloween film rights alongside Trankus. In other words, this new universe from Miramax and Trankus could potentially span film and television. I think, personally, that is also another possibility that whatever they're going to be doing in this TV series is also going to mirror back to the movies. You got to remember, this trilogy, even with all of the controversy that Halloween Ends had, this trilogy made a lot of money. And probably more important than that, it has really brought Michael Myers to the forefront of horror icons, of horror villains. I mean, he's never been more popular. I've been reminding people of this on my live streams and in my videos concerning anything Halloween related that we are almost at the 50th anniversary of Halloween 78. We are literally right around the corner and what better way than to have a TV series that's really fresh and doing some great things and leading up to a return to the theaters for Michael Myers. That is ultimately what I want to see. You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. So many possibilities because we do have characters that we could follow, whether you're talking about Nurse Marion, obviously there's Loomis, there's Sheriff Brackett. I mean, just in 78 alone, that's not even talking about Halloween 2 or Halloween 4. You know, maybe there is going to be something different that they do with Jamie Lloyd, Daniel Harris, you've got Ellie Cornell. I mean, the list goes on and on. So I really think that this is great news for all of us as Halloween fans. For you guys, let's talk about it in the comment section down below. What do you think is going to be the direction that they take? We know that it's going to be an offshoot from 78, and it's going to be about characters that they haven't really touched upon, especially in recent films. So let's talk about it down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. It helps to support the channel. I'd appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the Nightwatch Zone, this is the time to do it. Do it and join this fantastic community as we talk about movies. And again, this is a place where you'll never love and talk about movies the same. So I'll catch you guys later. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you are the Night Watch. Peace. Mm -hmm.